You've seen all of the videos by now for yeah. reactions of all kinds. Mm -hmm. And we're going to test that. Okay. So difficulty level one, our first question is just matching. Okay. We're going to match all of the reagents that go with the correct products. Okay. That sounds good. Let's do this. Let's start. I'm just going to kind of work my way this mm -hmm. way. So I know that if I have an alkyne, I'm going to get an alkane. Yes. I'm going to use this guy right here. Good. Reduction. And I'm just going to move this so it just, you can oh. go with the arrow. Oh, that's perfect. That, oh, that makes sense. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then this guy up there. That one is, I'm trying to remember, this one, hydro? Wait, no, it wouldn't be. How do we know? Because um, I'm looking, that one has just alkanes, the double bonds are gone. Good. So this one would be hydro halogenation. Put it down. You're right. Okay. Um, that one. How else could we have, have been able to figure that out? Just because, well, I mean, maybe this isn't a rule, but I've noticed that like in halogenation, normally you just have one of the halogens. But, like, mm -hmm. if you have excess or there's other things that are, like, a roll, so, yep. like, this guy right here, that one would go to this one, isn't it? Good. Okay. Like, in that case, you know? Exactly what you just said. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> that, is, that is a rule. That is, that is part of it. Okay. Like, here, there's no excess. There's really just, like, one equivalent or uh -huh. one mole of this, yeah. right, of uh -huh. HBr. So, that's that tells me there's only going to be one bromine. Okay. Versus this one, you said, oh, this is actually halogenation. It's mm -hmm. no longer... Um, hydrohalogenation, mm -hmm. it's, it's just this. So I know in this case, we added four bromines mm -hmm. because it's not just like if it was an excess, it would have added two. Right. But since it is, it's adding four. There, yeah, exactly. Now, so you could see that like two mole. Yes. That one. Okay. Or, or we could say, you know, excess, we can even just have to say X and S. Mm. Um, it could be, what else, two equivalents, okay. several different things. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. What's this one then? Um, that one, because it'll just be excess H. Good. Okay. And we see that, right? This one was just once. It added one bromine once. Thank you. <laughs> this one adds two times. Two times. That's why there's two bromine. Mm, yep, yep. Excess BR. Good. You didn't get okay. fooled by that. Okay. But I do see what you're saying, though, because the excess BR is like sub, you know, two. That yes. would be the why you get the four. The four, yeah, correct. That makes sense, yeah. Good. Keep going. Um, and then that guy over there mm -hmm. would be, I'm trying to think. What is this? How That's would we classify a it? Tone. Okay. I might come back to that one. Okay. That's fine. This guy, though. We handled this one, right? Oh, yeah, we already did this one. So we just Some have these three, three that are okay. left. That's this, isn't it? Well, what happened? So from the reactant to the product, what changed? It added this. Good. Oh, it oh added. my gosh, it added. Um, then that one will be, isn't it, this equation? Good. And you could also tell that because what did it add? It just added, like, one more CH3, like, one more methyl. It, one basically. more methyl. There you go. So that's what it's... Okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's true, huh? Did added one more methyl. So this is alkylation. Okay. Oh, yeah, alkylation. And it just... This is the main one, I'd say, for sure, no, especially for synthesis questions. Okay. okay. Hint, hint. We'll get to that. <laughs> but this is a way to add a new carbon bond, a new CC bond, new pretty CC. much. Okay. So we could add, really, any sort of alkyl group. Uh -huh. uh, but in this case, yep, that was the main difference was just seeing we actually added an additional carbon. This is the only way to do that. That makes sense. Keep going. I know we're left with these, these two. two. Okay. This is an aldehyde, not a ketone. Mm -hmm. And so we have excess here. So I know yes. it's not this one. Good. What does that form? That one would do, this one would give me a cis alkene. The, yes. Right? Yes, That'll it would. My product. Lindler's catalyst, it gives you a cis alkene, correct? Then this is ozonolysis, mm -hmm. which could give me Actually, either one of these. It could give me, but it would give me uh, two ketones or a ketone. It would give you two products. Two products, right? We don't have, we don't that, have here. that. So this one, so these two are out. Yes. Okay, and then I know that this one is. Isn't this one anti Markovnikov? Good, anti Markovnikov. Out of these what two, would be, what yeah. would be anti Markovnikov? Because the O, mm, it would be on the least. Good. So it'd be this one. Yes. And what we're looking at is we're saying, okay, these are the two carbons in question. Mm -hmm. This would have been the least. Mm -hmm. This would have been the most substituted. Right. Now, this here follows anti Markovnikov's rule. Mm -hmm. And I know that because this is at the end, that mm -hmm. carbonyl group, and it's forming that aldehyde, mm -hmm. okay, for sure it had to have been this guy. Yeah. Now, this one, we have one remaining. Same. However, we also can note that this is the ketone forming because it's adding at the most mm -hmm. substituted carbon, this one. Mm -hmm. And that's how I know, okay, it had it been this, it follows Markovnikov's rule. Yep, that's a ketone. That would be our guy. 
What is this one called? I can't remember. So this is a form of hydration. It's acid catalyzed hydration. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I would say synthesis is probably the hardest one, in my opinion. I agree. I, I, I agree. think so. So this question asked us, using a starting material with two carbons, mm -hmm. design a synthesis route for the below compound. So this is our product. We're trying to figure out what was our starting material, so mm -hmm. our reactant, and what did we use in between?